Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche DB. In this video, you're going to learn how to access CloudWatch logs using a Lambda function in AWS. Let's start by going to the AWS console and search for CloudWatch. Click on Logs Insights in the left menu, then pick a time duration. For log group, I'm going to select my web application firewall log then copy paste a pre-written query. Here I'm selecting a bunch of fields followed by sorting the result in descending timestamp order and then limiting the results to five records. Let's go back to the AWS console and search for IAM. Click on roles, then hit the create role button. Select Lambda under use case, then hit next. Search for CloudWatch, then select CloudWatch Full Access, then click Next. Give your role a name, then hit the Create Role button. Go back to the AWS console and this time search for Lambda. Click on the Create Function button and give your function a name. Select Python for runtime and for default execution role, pick the IAM role that we just created. Click on Create Function then scroll down to the code source section. Here, I'm going to copy paste pre-written Python code. On line one, I'm importing the Boto3 library, which is the AWS SDK. On line eight, I'm initiating the Boto3 client. And on line 10, I'm defining the query. On line 16, I'm using the start underscore query method to initiate the query. On line 27, I'm running a while loop and capturing the results of the query in the response variable. Finally, on line 35, I'm running a for loop and parsing the query results and printing them on the console. Hit the deploy button, then click on test. Give your test event a name, then hit save. Click on test again to test your Lambda function. Looks like our Lambda function timed out because the query took more than three seconds to return. To fix this, click on the configuration tab, then click on general configuration in the left menu. Hit the edit button, then increase the timeout setting to say 10 seconds. Click on save, then hit the test button again to retest your Lambda function. This time, our function seems to have worked as expected, because we can see the CloudWatch log results in our console. There you have it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.